welcome to Brick in a Box. I am doing a series called Weird and Wonderful Homes. This is sort of a funky looking townhome. It is paid in tribute to my first video, which was a Lego townhome in my modular series. If you have not seen that video, I would check it out. And this video also comes with the Lego townhome and the Lego Deli Market. You can see it on the city square right here. The townhome is the biggest of them all because, well, it's the star of the show. And even Mini-Me came along to check it out. You can see he's walking along the street. This may even be his house because here's his little crossover SUV right here. Just parked in the driveway. And you can see that it is three stories tall. And it sort of has a fake lining here. It makes you want to think that the little first floor may be actually four bricks tall. But it is in reality six bricks tall. Just like the rest of the house. Let me slide this over a little bit. Set the camera down. Here we go. Let me slide it over. So that I can get a better view of the interior right here. Here is sort of a cutaway view of the house. You can see all three floors from the master bedroom to the bunk room and the laundry room to the first floor living and kitchen area. Let me go ahead and take off the roof right here and you can see it is covering the entire house except for a very small two by three portion right here. And then there's a little skylit window that you will climb down to get to the third floor. Then there's the AC unit right here. And then a little pop-up right here for some sort of electrical unit. And then there's little lights right here. One, two, three, and four. That will light up the patio area for nighttime. And now let me take you to the... Here is the third floor of my house. It is not all that impressive from the little area right here. Right here would be where the spiral staircase would lead down. And in through this door is the master suite. It is fairly large with a simple tiled bed with a pillow and then two nightstands. And then over here... There's a TV on the wall, and then a very skinny staircase up to the skylit um, entry to the third, I mean, final floor. And then right here, there's a gigantic soaker tub. And then over here, there's a little toilet. It is slightly fancier than the toilet in the other bathroom. It has a rounded bowl and then a glass um, commode back here. And then over here, there's a double vanity with a single running tiles. You act as the water. It is sort of uh, dark blue, so I wouldn't want to be using that water. Then there's a corner window looking out onto the city streets in this corner. And that's about it from my video. Thank you. Here is the second floor of my house. It has some small little porthole type windows to lead into the third floor. And then some really interesting pattern windows right here and then a little overhang that you can see what would be the front foyer door let me scoot it around so you can see the second floor foyer it has where the stairs would come up right here up into a mosaic style flooring and then here's something I rarely do in my houses in this house I have a small laundry room with a washer and dryer you can see the little push buttons on top and then over here, I have discovered two trends that are mostly in the latest modern homes. There's a living wall right here with some little moss growing. And then a edged spiral staircase up to the third floor. Then there's a, another modern trend that I added in the bathroom over here. There's a chrome drain and a rainstone style um, shower head. And then a domed toilet, and then a white sink with a sort of flat-edged um, sink topper. And then, as you can see, the floor is tiled white, as the rest of the bathroom is. Let me scoot this over so you can see the bunk room. In most of my houses lately, you have seen a bunk room, just like my last house. It had a larger bunk room than this one. 
but I still consider this one very homey. It has some shelves along the sides here, and then two little lounge chairs, and then the small little Speed Champions uh, table. And then over here, there's a full-size bunk on the bottom of this bunk, and then a twin size on top. Each bunk has two drawers to stuff their stuff in. That sounded too much stuff. <laughs> and then there's two windows to let in fresh light. If there is able to be fresh light, some building may be blocking it because we're in the city after all. And then you can see all the edges are tiled except for this little area up here. Now let me take you to the third floor master suite. Here is the first floor of my house. It has the little shop door that leads you up the stairs and into the little foyer area of the house. It's kind of small, but it has a little floating staircase up and another floating staircase down. I don't know if I can get it in the shots. But right here, there's a little back for display upon the little tiled entryway. Then there's a luxurious kitchen right here with gray tile for flooring. A bubbling sink with a very nice edged faucet. A gas burner stove with a stove on top, with a pot on top. And then some cabinets all across the side. And then a plate in the floor. I forgot to get that up when I was in the building stage of my house. It was supposed to go right there. And then right here, there's a little home theater set with double speakers along the sides. And then a TV in the middle. And there's a brick fireplace right here. You can see all the little fireplace flames blowing up and then a clock that can sort of move around and get it to the right place where you want to put it and then there's two doors leading out to a small backyard back here typically townhomes do have a very small backyard but this one at least has a bunch of shrubbery and foliage to keep you company while you're back here let me shut those doors and now let me take you over to the outside there's a little um, nice little paved driveway with grass in the middle leading all the way to the about the seventh brick of the house right here and then over here there's a little wooden barrier leading back into what would probably be a loading zone for the deli market or a driveway for the townhouse over here now let me take you to the